about this bed, I'll tell you. Oh, you're not on about that again, are you? <coughs> we'll have to get a new one. A new one? Plenty of wear in this one yet. Where? Look, I've suffered this bed for 25 years. You know, Freddie, my mother was right. You should never start married life on a cheap bed. <laughs> what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's not fit to sleep in, that's what's wrong with it. It's all lumpy. Lumpy? Yes. Our mattress lumpy? Well, I've never noticed it. <laughs> I'm not surprised the state you're in when you come home most nights. You wouldn't notice if it was stuffed with broken bottles. You lie there, wrapped in all the blankets, snorting and snoring your head off every night of the week, with hiccups chucked in on a Saturday. Well, it's not lumpy. Do you know I lay awake for hours listening to you sleeping? And then when I am just dropping off from the sheer exhaustion of it all, the alarm goes and I have to wake up to wake you up. Well, you don't have to listen to me snoring. It always turn me over. Turn you up? <laughs> That's a good one, that is. When you're stuck down there like a dead horse in a ditch. Well, it's not lumpy. Look here. Not lumpy. Look here at that mattress. Go on, see. Look, that spring's all broken. Well, it only needs taking in a bit. I don't want you moaning about it. I sleep all right on it. Look, the shape it is at the minute, you don't sleep on it, you sleep in it. <laughs> You're down there like a like a mole in a hole, while I'm stuck up here keeping a welcome on the hillside. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that bed. Look, well, listen, I'm not going to tolerate it for another night. And get some clean socks on. <laughs> get me breakfast, love. I've got a big job on today over at Park Street, fitting in some new baths. Listen, don't let me go without me blow lamp. I'm only asking for just one night's good sleep. <coughs> Freddie, we've had this bed, you see, ever since we first got married. 25 years, love. Well, it's not 25 years yet. Love, there's one more day to go. Now, by the look of us two, I don't think we shall make it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, never mind. We'll not argue about the bed, eh? <laughs> All right, love. We'll get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Miserable. Well, I've got to get back to work soon. I've had another call from Mrs. Williams. She's got another stoppage. You're not going to be long, are you? No, of course not, because I know exactly what I want. Two nice interior sprung twin beds. Twin beds? What will the neighbours think when they see our double bed going out and twin beds coming in? It doesn't bother me what the neighbours think. And if it's going to embarrass you, I will ask for them to be delivered in plain brown paper wrappings. <laughs> oh, listen, Freddie, listen, love, I've given it a lot of thought, and I've come to the conclusion that you're a nasty sleeper. <laughs> nasty. For 25 years, you've stolen the blanket off my side of the bed. I have. Oh, yes, you have. It's a form of habit with you. 25 years I've suffered with a frozen back. And when I do turn round, you complain because you can't warm your feet on me. But, I mean, those feet of yours are enough reason for me to want twin beds. <laughs> do. I should have done something about it ages ago. What's wrong with me feet? I can't tell if I've been feet. But they're not feet. The lumps of ice. Oh, if I, I can't do a thing right. If I go to bed with my socks on, you start creating. There's a gentleman here. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Well, I hope so. I'm looking for two nice new twin beds. Oh. Oh, yes, quite. Well, I'm sure we can find you something you. suitable. Yes. I say, do twin beds cost the same as one double? Well, of course, they do tend to come just a little bit more. Now, the double bed, you see, in this range is £42, and a pair of twin beds will cost you £57.10. Well, I mean, that's an extra £42, £52, £52. But an extra £15.10. Oh, it's too expensive. 
Why don't we just have a new double bed? Because we've gone into all that and I want my own bit of blanket. <laughs> you understand what I mean, don't you? Oh, yes, of course, Mary. <laughs> well, now, one answer to your problem, if I might suggest, is a larger, extra-wide double bed. And we've got one here that's a veritable bargain. Oh, over here. Over here. You see what I mean? Now? Well, we'll we'll never afford that. But it's the last of the range. If you just care to read about it, maybe I'll be able to offer a special reduction. I'll just check with the office. I'm sure they'll be only too happy to meet you. A special thing. reduction, eh, love? Here, yeah, look, it's the latest thing. It's king size. I don't care if it's filter tipped. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Twin beds. I've told you what I want. Twin beds, but there's plenty of room. Look at the middle. It, it's got plenty of room in it. Oh, it'd just suit you, that, wouldn't you? You'd pinch my blankets and then <laughs> off into the distance, out of sight. <laughs> I'd have to send the bloodhounds after you to get them back. No, no, I'm having twin beds, Fred. Twin beds? Well, you have to get extra blankets and everything. Look, I have made up my mind that I want twin beds. Hey, here. If you'd give me that money you won, I could get them, you know, the £15 pounds you won on bingo last month. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you've still got it, haven't yeah. you? But you see, love, I... Uh, let's go and have a cup of tea. Shall <laughs> you? <laughs> You've blew that lot in, haven't you? <coughs> hey? Do you know, I've heard that you'd been seen standing around that new betting shop. Very handy, haven't it, right next door to the pub, isn't it? Into the betting shop, lose the lot, and then into the pub to console yourself. <laughs> it's a pity you haven't got an undertaker's on the other side. You can spend the rest of your life there. <laughs> Fifteen quid. All gone. Nothing left. Not left. I might have known you'd do something like this, just to ruin our silverware design. Well, it's not till tomorrow long. Don't you think I should have forgotten it by then? <laughs> I could have had those twin beds if you'd given me that extra money. Second thoughts. I've just remembered one of the special models. It might be the very thing if twin beds are out of the question. They are. Right out. It's just over here, you see. Now, as you see now, it has that extra width in the middle that makes for additional comfort. Well, that's a nice idea. Well, here again, we can offer a substantial reduction. I'll just check the original price. Yeah, this should do. Look, it's as good as twin beds. Yes. You heard what he said. It's got the extra width in the middle. Look, it's all round. It's got no corners. Oh, yes, madam, this is a bargain. 25% off list prices. You see, there's quite a saving. Oh, well, they've saved a bit on the corners for a start, haven't they? <laughs> now, you realise it's, it's been reduced to, to £38.10. Well, it is. It's very nice. I mean, if you like this sort of and thing. And it comes fitted with one of the finest mattresses on the market, the Supreme Monarch Deluxe, a gold seal. Yes, well, it is. It's very nice. It's beautifully sprung and fully guaranteed and fully described in there. It says that the interior contains nearly 2,000 springs, all individually pocketed. Now, yes. wouldn't you like to try it for yourself? You mean lie on it? Oh, yes, I always recommend it. It's the only way to make certain. Oh, well, yes. Thank you. That's, that's the way. Don't be shy now. That's right. It's off to Daisy. That's it. Now, <laughs> look at that, isn't it? Now, you'd like to try it too, wouldn't you, sir? Oh, me? <laughs> oh, good to bed in the shop. No. <laughs> Oh, I can tell it's good to be looking. Oh, no, if you wouldn't mind. It's, it's the only way to make sure that the mattress is suitable. You see, you've got to get the, 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 the feel of a bed. You know what I mean. Oh, just a minute. Excuse me, it's another customer. Oh, don't hurry away, though. I do so want you to be satisfied. Please take as long as ever you like. I'm just coming. Thank you. Hey, come on, this is lovely. <laughs> come on, you don't know what you've been missing all your life. You don't... Hey, yeah. Take your shoes off when you're getting on their bed. <laughs> the cleaner wiped them on their carpet. <laughs> take, them, take them off before you come to bed. You're not at home now, you know. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> well, you told me to. The hours I spent mending your socks. You would have to wear that pair today, wouldn't you? Just when you're going to expose your feet in public. But it's not my fault. Must have worked its way through. Well, come on, hurry up and try this bed before that man comes back and sees you half naked. <laughs> hey, it's certainly soft, isn't it? Oh, it's, hey, try hey? my way. My way, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 way. It is soft, isn't it? If anything, I think perhaps it's a bit too soft. Do you know, Freddie, you're making that bed sag. Isn't it funny, love? Every time you lay on the bed, you make it sag. <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting on? Do you like the oval bed? Yes, we do, thank you very much. But I think you'll have to go on to find us something else. Oh, why is that? Uh, well, we've got square sheets. Oh, I never thought of that. Oh, well, it's, it's quite all right. I've had, if you follow me, I've had a third <laughs> thought. There yes. is something else. Just come along. I'll thank say. you. <laughs> Get your shoe on. Embarrassing me like that. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lying on a bed with your wife in the shop. <laughs> Look, we're not buying a ruddy buff. <laughs> And I'm sure you'll find there's something very suitable here. This model has several good features. Continental headboard. And it comes fitted with easy glide casters. You see, like this. Oh, yes. And I'm sure that you'll find your sleeping problems are solved by this special mattress. It's what we call, you see, a split mattress. I'll, I'll just show you what I mean. Just excuse me. It's hard on one side for the man who is heavier, and it's soft on the other side for the woman who is lighter. Well, that's a good idea. It, isn't it? it ensures that both bodies remain at the same height, you see. It makes for level sleeping and prevents you rolling together. Oh, well, I'm for anything that you do that, I'll tell you. Now, each side of the mattress is fully sprung with 673 individual springs. As you see, it's beautifully made. It, too, comes fitted with the latest spring side divan. I have to show you what I mean with this. You see, it's sprung right to the sides. Is it? Yes. Oh, I say, how lovely. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. that is nice. Uh, oh, wait a minute, but you must never, never sit on the edge of it. Never sit on the edge of it, you see. Oh. It, it displaces the springs, you see. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but do lie down on it. Oh, do. Hey. Yes. Is, is that the soft side? Oh, it's a beautifully is soft, it? you find. Yeah. That's it. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Gerald. I've got about the edge. You I know, know it's I very important. Yes. That's the way. Oh, yes, very well. I hope you're all right. Don't worry about it. It's quite simple, really. That's the edge. Oh, yes, I'm good. Well done. That's lovely. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hey, come on. Hey, don't take your shoe off. <laughs> oh, yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Yes, I say that's lovely, isn't it? I knew yes. you'd find it suitable. Yes, I think we shall take it, they oh, say. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Oh, I'm yes. sure it'll give you every satisfaction. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll just go and make out the bill. Thank oh. you. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's oh, so sorry, I nearly forgot. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's special bedding week. They're giving away free gifts, so we qualify for this. <laughs> Don't you know? <laughs> How much longer are you going to be? You've been three quarters of an hour fixing that plug. I should have thought it would have come easy to you. I mean, after all, you are a plumber. Electricity comes from wires, not pipes. <laughs> the only plugs I fit go in plug holes. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm a plumber, not an electrician. All right, well, don't let's have any demarcation in the bedroom. <laughs> you pop that on my side, love, and warm it up a bit. Oh, no fear. You're up blooded enough as it is. <laughs> don't think I didn't notice you eyeing that little blonde bit in that shop, you know. <laughs> that lecherous leer of yours. Your eyes were really popping out of the sockets. Well, I only just glanced at her. Oh, you haven't changed. You were just the same 25 years ago. Never. Oh, yes, you were. I've seen that look many a time. Oh, but of course, in those days, it was me that you looked at. Well, I still look at you sometimes. <laughs> there we are, look. I've done oh, it. Oh, I say. Oh, isn't that smashing? Oh, I say, it was well worth getting. Now, look, Freddie, you be careful with this mattress, because it's got to last you for the rest of your days. Well, it's guaranteed to last at least ten years. I wish I could say the same about you, love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here, I know you're tired. Give us your tools, and I'll just put them in this corner for tonight. <laughs> ah, it's been hard, day. Right, right. Hey, what have you done to my pyjamas? What do you mean? What have I done to your pyjamas? It's a clean pair. Oh, no, it's a clean pair. Well, it's Tuesday night, not Saturday. <laughs> Look, you're not going to get into this beautiful bed in dirty pyjamas. I'm not having you mucking it up on the first night. <laughs> now, go on. Put them on and get into bed. And don't sit on the edge of that bed. You know what that man said? If you sit on the edge of it, you'll split it. I don't want to take my trousers off, right. then. Yeah. Where's my chair? It's in the spare room with the old bed. No, I won't get it back, then. No, now, you will not. No, I'm not having that broken down old thing in here. I mean, after all, Freddy, it don't match the bed, love. I'll buy you a new one. Well, it's my pyjamas, then it's my chair. You'll want to change me next. Oh, Freddy, now I wouldn't want to do that, love. You know that. I hear I say. How many springs did that man say that there was in this mattress? 673. But it doesn't feel like that many to me, doesn't If the man says they're in there, they're in there. This is ruddy daft. I feel like a stork standing here on one leg. <laughs> what are you up to now? Well, I'm 
just having a look if I can see some of those springs. <laughs> I mean, after all, we've only got that man's word that there's 673. I can only see one. <laughs> well, there's another 672 somewhere. If you want to find out, get into bed. Yeah, all right, no. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. Ain't that lovely? Yeah, Look, Shirley, that. Isn't it beautiful? It is, lass. Oh, <laughs> that's what it is. Right. This feels a bit hard for the soft side. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> and that feels a bit soft for the hard side. <laughs> Soft side, my side. You'll have to come over this side to sleep. But you've always slept on that side. We can't change now. No, of course we can. Don't be so ridiculous. Come on. You move my stuff round, will you? And I'll take that water. <laughs> Man that edge of that bed. Well, one of them nights, I can see that. It's very funny when you come to think, because that soft side was on my side when we were in that shop. Now, mysteriously, that soft side has moved over to your side. Very funny, that, I must say. Don't you think it is? Eh? Oh, don't you think so, eh? Yes! Mind the edge of that bed. You can get in the mind what you're doing. Well, I'm supposed to take my socks off. Can't go to bed with my socks on. Never bothered you before. What do you mean? I never went to bed with my socks on. I do! You went to bed with your socks on 25 years ago today. Well, I had some incentive then. That's a <laughs> Well, I remember that you went to bed with your clothes on as well. <sighs> Ruddy bed. Right. They didn't tell me I had to be an acrobat to get into it, or something. <laughs> Fed up standing on one leg. Ah, well, it's more than you could do on your wedding night. Well, had a few too many then. Aye, and you've been going on that way ever since. Oh, don't carry on, love. It'll be our anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Don't spoil everything, love. Oh, well, you know I wouldn't do that, Freddie. <laughs> hey, I say, 25 years, eh? Aye, don't seem that long, not really, does it? Flown by, hasn't it? Does. Aye, gone. But still, we've been pretty well suited one way or another, haven't we, love? Of course we have. Hey. Yeah. Do you really think so? Yes, I couldn't have done better with myself. No, couldn't you? Honestly. No, oh, of course not. Do you know, I'm always telling the lads at the pub. <laughs> in the pub? You never tell me that, do you? You've never told me that once, not in 25 years. Oh, I'm sorry I brought it up. Yeah. Well, you can get out of bed and push it back up here. Look, it's coming away from the wall. <laughs> now, that's it. Remember you? Well, I gummy. Pushes about nice, love. It does. This reminds me when I used to push the pram. <laughs> You've a good memory. <laughs> you didn't do that very often. <laughs> By the edge now. Well, I've got to get into bed somehow. Oh. Well, don't kneel on the edge. <laughs> well, now the hell am I supposed to get in then? Crawl through one of them springs and come through the middle? <laughs> I'm just asking you to be a bit careful, love, that's all. Oh, oh. hey, hey, <laughs> That's it. Ooh, 25 years, eh? Pass the Greyhound Gazette, love it on your side. <laughs> Greyhound Gazette, it was just like that on our wedding night, our honeymoon. Ah, uh, well, I've got some good tracks in Blackpool. We spent our honeymoon in Morecambe. <laughs> I think I've got a cert for tomorrow. Look, you've lost enough money as it is. Fifteen quid one on the big one, you haven't got a penny left. I didn't lose it. What did you do with it then? Spent it. What on? I haven't seen anything that you've bought. Oh, well, of course, if you're going to keep that light on, I shan't be able to go to sleep. I might as well read as well. Oh, that's the thing. I must say, it's very convenient. Newfangled thing. <laughs> it won't stay down. Well, it just needs a twist. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at it. You must have wired it wrong. All I did was to put a plug on the end of the wire. Well, you must have done that wrong then. It's nothing to do with a plug, it's that arm. You want to read? Sit up. <laughs> Look, if I want to sit up, I can sit up downstairs. When I'm in bed reading, I like to lie down. It doesn't make any difference. I can read in bed sitting up quite well. Can you? I'll come over on this side then. <laughs> come, on. come on. I'm just getting comfortable. My sheets are all warm. Yes, well, so are mine. Come on, change sides. 
Anybody think we're playing bloody football? <laughs> now then. Come on, Now we. Hey, what the doing? I only leave my head on the back. Look, that's a headboard. You're not supposed to lean your head on it. Well, what the hell's it for, then? What do you want to go and buy a bed with these lard casted on for? It's daft. It's so that it moves out easy for cleaning. Well, it's out now, so give it a clean. I don't do my cleaning in my nightdress, thank you very much. I'm not like some people I could mention, you know. Now, like Mrs Hargreaves down the road, it's a good day when she's dressed by 12 o'clock, I'll tell you that one. Well, you can just get out and push it back. Go on. <laughs> and while you're out, you can give me my magnesia there. <laughs> Thank you. Now, be careful. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? Look at that. My magnesia's gone all over this floor. Well, it's not my fault. It's this blasted bed. It rolls about all over the place. You better get something to clean it up. Come on, before it damages the ceiling. Well, if it doesn't damage your stomach, why should it damage the ceiling? <laughs> I'll get out of bed and I'll do it myself. You'll only make a bigger mess of it, that's all. Where's my slippers? I'll go and get a cloth to wipe it up. Look, and while I'm going to get that cloth, will you push that bed back and wedge something behind the wheels? I don't want to be travelling around the bedroom all night. <laughs> What's wrong with this blasted lamp? Yeah. Fred. Hey, Freddie! I thought I told you to push this bed back. <laughs> oh! Oh, Freddie! Oh, no! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, I didn't know you were there. Let me look. Oh, look. I'm sorry, look, mind that magnesia. I'll get some salve to put on it. That'll ease it. Oh, it'll be all right in a minute. Wait a minute, love. Wait a minute, that'll take the pain off it. Ooh. And don't sit down on that bed. <laughs> man about the Split it open. You've nearly split me head open. Now, look, that should take some of the pain away from it, love. Oh, come on, let's get settled down. <laughs> you can do the bed in the morning. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, well. I've got time to tell Who's the door out now? Okay. There we are. Right. Good night, Bob. Good night. <laughs> now, what's up? You know something? Oh, yeah, happy anniversary, I know. <laughs> I'm back on the art side again. <laughs> to sleep on here. Come on, love. Change over. <laughs> My legs are that bad, love. Right. Oh, no! Oh, now what's the matter? I've thrown in your milk and magnet. <laughs> well, it'll keep your, your feet out. Oh, don't, don't kneel on the bed, Freddy. All oh, right, I won't touch your flipping side. <laughs> Ooh! <coughs> Something's gone. You haven't strained yourself, have you? <laughs> Don't move about that all, oh, Fred. Oh, you burst me on water bottle. <laughs> Mind that, look, it's going all over the floor. God, it'll wash away the milk of magnesia. <laughs> hey, my side's all damp. It is, look, it's only a little bit of wet just there. Look, you can get comfortable and sleep on the edge. Oh, you? oh, don't tell me I can sleep on the edge. Well, of course you can. It's just that you can't sit on it because that's what makes it sag. <laughs> Not that it's stopped you sitting it all, all the evening, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I say, this was a stupid thing to do, you know, Freddy. Did you know that that has gone and wet all those springs? We've only had the blooming bed a few hours, and already you've mucked up one of the lights, put the mattress in wrong, and now you've rusted all these springs. <laughs> it's always the same whenever we get anything nice. You always have to go and spoil it. It was just the same with that sofa my mother gave us. Even when I was having the baby, you were off out on a dark out. Where are you going to? I'm going to the spare room on the old bed. Oh, no, listen, Freddie, you can't do that, love, because we've never slept apart before. We've never had a spare bed before. <laughs> no, Freddie, come back here, love. Come and sleep in this bed, Freddie! Freddie! 
Hey. What? Don't sit on that ruddy edge. <laughs> Keep your blankets. You're on the flipping bed. And I thought this was going to be such a happy day. I mean, all I've ever done was to was to try and get a nice home together for you. You don't appreciate anything. A home where you could come after a hard day's toil and rest your weary self. It's not going to be like one of those guys who's always acting in his toothpicks. Always nagging. Penny! Go down to this wardrobe door. Penny! You'll come back here this minute and shut this wardrobe door. There's no servants here to wait on you, you know. <laughs> Putting your things all over the floor, putting blue lamps and one thing and another. I'm not your slave, you know. Well, don't you think I am? Got the blooming clothes put away. It's like an old shop. shop. Well, My beloved wife, with all my love, on our 25th, from your devoted husband, Fred. P.S. I'm glad I was able to get you the dressing gown. If I hadn't have won that money on bingo, it would have had to be a pair of slippers. 